God. It's a privilege to honor God. Thank you, Father. Jesus, we worship you. Yes, begin to worship you. Continue, continue, continue to worship you.
from one hospital to another. Some of you have heard my testimony, right? Yes. But I made a vow to the Lord that I will share wherever I go. For those who have never heard. So I went from one hospital to another. I remember laying in this, my first admission was the Spalding's Hospital. And as I laid here, two weeks into the illness, all of the results were negative. And I said, God, I remember my mom told me when, she, when I was in her room, she said, God, this child is yours. When I was four years old, I was a newborn and I had nothing to bring for harvest. I gave myself to harvest. And I was saying to God, God, you see, for me, it's, I'm just doing this because you called me to do it. Because Lord, you're the light, the high bottom, and the attention. But here I am. I said, God, please, show me what's in the mind of the enemy as it relates to this illness. So that I can know how to pray. But I said, that Lord, allow me. I was there in the hospital, and the demons walked into the hospital. I could see them. He allowed me to see them. And they said, we don't like your voice. We don't like your music. We don't like what your music is doing to our kingdom. We've been sent to kill you. And the demons started to torture my body. And it was like three o'clock that morning, yes. And my spirit started to lift from my body. And I heard the nurses. And the doctors talking and they said, we have to call her family because she's not going to make it. And the demons were trying to bring me into this dark place. And all I could do was whisper the name of Jesus. There's healing in the name of Jesus. There's deliverance in the name of Jesus. But I called his name. Lightning struck the demons. I think I'm shouting too much.
spiritual leaders came to me. They said, you know, Sister Nancy, you've become a celebrity on TV. You must have committed some secret sin. It's time to search Sister Nancy. Of course, I searched myself. Others said, you know, if I was in your position, I would go seek help. What does that mean? Go to the older man, the woman priest. But I said, go on. Hallelujah. It comes to the point where I exalted the medical resources in Jamaica. I left Jamaica in a wheelchair. I got to the States by then. My mom was believing for the Lord to make a way for me to get to the States. I got there and it got worse. I lived in the hospitals. How long was I sick for? Five and a half years. All my veins collapsed. My hair fell out. My skin broke out in halves. It got to the point where I could no longer digest water. Yeah, I do it now. And I can digest water right now. Watch this, watch this. Hey! Thank you, Jesus. So yes, the powerful name of Jesus Christ has broken the curse of death on my life. He sent us here tonight to tell you that it's not over until God says so. Whatever you are going through, Grand Kingdom, I want to encourage you. Believe the Lord. Trust in Him. Rely upon Him. Call upon Him. And when the doctor said, go home, say your goodbyes, there's nothing more you can do for you. I know that some of you are praying for me. I say, thank you so much. Let's continue to lift each other up. Oh my God, I wish we had you. But Lord, I thank you for the opportunity to exalt your name in Grand Cayman. I declare that you shall not die. But live. Jesus broke the curse of death. And I'm here to tell you, the Lord allowed me to go into heaven. I had out of body encounters. I went to heaven, I went to hell. If you'd like to learn more about that, go online and search for my testimony. And you'll be able to hear all about it. I want to honor a lot of ministry time and make room for the other ministers. But know that you are here for a purpose. God is with you. Amen? Hallelujah. Let's go. Jesus, we thank you, God.